Oh, peeps. Uh, just got back from a walk at the park. Been to go to the central shopping. Had a half hour walk around the park and uh, there's a little stream around it. So I was walking up the stream, always down as you do, and uh, spotted a little gem. Look at this. I'll just flip you around now. Bottle. Marble still in there. It says, I'll clean it up for you now. Corbett's and Co. Bromsgrove. It's got a trademark on it. Still got the marble in there. I'll give that a clean and see how it comes up. Always keep your eyes down, you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> Put some cleaning fluid in there and see if we can get it to look a bit cleaner. Get in there though. Yeah, it's definitely a clear bottle. Right, I've had my bottle soaking. Uh, last night I give it a rub with gently with some wire wool just to get some of the real black. So I was just caked in black. Left some of the dark areas on just so it shows the lettering up a bit better. Uh, but inside the bottle, it was all like a bit, but that wide all the way up bright orange where it had been laid down and um, I couldn't get it off so what I've done is cut up one of them into a strip into there Mrs. is going to go tits at me I've got a uh, I don't know what you stick your spuds on and you put them in the oven that's <laughs> what it's called skewer uh, bent it all over <laughs> then I put that in the bottle that's the marble and then I grab hold of the can't do it one handed. There's the sponge drop, the uh, wire wool, and I use the wire wool just to get the, uh, the worst of the stuff off. But that's it so far. Uh, I'm gonna give it another little spruce up and uh, I'll show you what it's like at the end. Oh, yeah, inside there, I've been soaking it with uh, dishwasher tablets. And uh, I had a bit of sip, tried a bit of sip as well, but yeah, the dishwasher tablets I've left. Put boiling water in there, no hot water at the tap. Put uh, some broken sif, uh, some broken dishwasher tablets in there. Left it for a good hour, and then cleaning it, and it's really coming up well now. just to get the marble out so it's lucky to survive coming up nice look at this though this is well cool oh, I'll fill up the bottle bottle's full all we got in there is the marble make sure it's not going to Right, and so the bottle's full. You're gonna lose a little bit. 
watertight. There you go. That's just the marble at the bottom of that. That's full of water. If I do this now, look. Tip it back up. You got to have it the right way. So this is this way. If I do it that way, look. The marble blocks it. You lose a little bit. You've got to have it that way so you can have a drink. See the marble? Turn it round so the mark to lock it off goes that way. Put it that way so the marble goes to the front. <laughs> That's bloody genius, isn't it? What's that? This is from like the late eighteen hundreds, I think. Early nineteen hundreds. Just a squash bottle. There you go, that's the bottle. I don't want to clean that up anymore. I'd like to have a little, I don't want it to be perfectly clean. I could get all that out easy, but I don't think you'll see the detail as well. Love it. Uh, Cannington Shore and Co. Makers, St. Helens. That's one of my favourite finds, that is. Love it. Corbett and Kerr, Bronze Grove, Cod Bottle. Still got the marble in. Buzzing.